All right, hello everyone. Here we are back for a third guide here. This will be for the Epoch 4 that I'm going to cover. Um, you should not really have too many problems with Epoch 4 or even much less in this. Uh, you'll be able to compete pretty much with anything. Uh, there'll just be kind of maybe a few different ways that you'll have to play the holes. Like, for example, I'm looking at the key holes in this tournament, 2 and 7. So the way that uh, you'll have to play those two holes will just kind of slightly be altered a little bit. So let's take a look. It looked pretty pretty good. So if you want to, uh, you know, take on that bunker, you can try to go over top of it. Uh, my wind's down here, so I'm just going to kind of do it like this. And let me put in my max ring number. It's more or less where I'm going to go, six and a half to seven. And I also like to maybe land right around here. Let's start to restrict how much curl, how much side spin I put on this. I'm just going to come in just a little bit on the curl as well, maybe 80 to 90. I don't really need to get this super aggressive. So I'm just kind of getting it up here as far as I can um, without any difficulty. I might even start to back off. Ooh. So we'll see depending on you know where I get the ball to. This looks pretty good. This is pretty much exactly where I want it. To where I can still set up this min uh, long iron. And what I noticed from yesterday, um, when this shot, is that it's, uh, you know, towards min, min club on this B-52, it plays very close to kind of one per ring when you get it to the right spot. So let's take a look here. Of course, I didn't need much... Uh, This might even be just a little bit less. So I'm thinking somewhere maybe right around here. So what I'm going to do is I'll set my guide slightly. You can see kind of where that is. And 9.6 rings. Perfect ball. Just a little too much offset there. It's going to be hard because you have an angled fairway. But hopefully you can get, uh, you know, it honed in throughout the week. And, and uh, I'm going to need quite a few more attempts. I'm also going to need, you know, some consist consistency off the tee. I'm trying to start getting dialed in exactly how I want to do it um, off the tee to make sure that I don't drive it any farther than I just did. Uh, it, it is kind of a very, very challenging hole with my um, tee shot the way that it is and a POC 4. Um, you just kind of kind of not challenge the bunker too much. But I still want to get it down there to where I'm not at mid-club, for instance. Because then I have to start considering more wind effect and all that. So the way that I'll have to play it is going to uh, vary greatly. So hopefully, you know, you guys can try to get some kind of consistency off the tee. And when that wind's 12, maybe you'll crank it up like I just did. 
And I'm going to start to kind of scale back on a 10 like that, just in case, you know, I hit it three or four yards farther, it would have started to get a little challenging for a long iron. So, um, you know, something to definitely be thinking about and factor in. So good luck with that hole overall, and I'll catch you guys on hole two coming up.